Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Noel Pettit. I've been uh, on the faculty at Augsburg University at Augsburg College for a number of years where we studied the uh, magnetic field effects on the surface of the Earth of space weather. Uh, there's a large magnetic field surrounding the Earth, and that magnetic field is perturbed by particles flying off the sun and heading in our way, and the fact that we're in an, an orbit in motion around the sun. We can monitor those magnetic fields and the effects of the sun in space. However, that's very expensive because you have to have satellites. So we have done the next best thing, which is build ground-based magnetometers from the Arctic to the Antarctic. These are magnetic field sensors that are very sensitive. Uh, they can detect one part in, oh, maybe 5,000, 10,000 change in the Earth's magnetic field. We don't really care about the Earth's magnetic field itself. We uh, care about the changes. So those instruments measure the effect, the fluctuations of the magnetic field primarily due to solar storms. Solar wind, that is the particles flying off the sun, change from day to day and from hour to hour. What we're trying to do with the smart technology is get that sensors down in, cross, down in cost and availability so everyone can read the magnetic field. You have magnetic sensors all around you. You have compasses uh, in your car, in your cell phone. Those are not very sensitive to the small changes that we are trying to detect. So most of our detectors, most of our magnetometers are buried in the ground so that they don't wiggle with the wind and they measure the field changes uh, on a day-to-day -day and maybe every minute or something like that. So what we're hoping to do with the solar eclipse, when the moon stands in the way, that's going to block some of the magnetic uh, influences of the polar wind. And so we will see a gradual change over maybe a half hour, 45 minutes of the magnetic field uh, down on the earth because the solar wind is being blocked and then it will return to, to normal. Then it will return to normal characteristics. The magnetic fields of the earth changes quite a bit uh, on a daily basis. Uh, we, uh, when we are facing the sun, then we're bombarded by those particles and the magnetic field is, is compressed on the sun side and is, it expands on the dark side, on the evening side. And so we expect to see somewhat situation like that, but only in maybe a half an hour time frame. The detectors we use are very inexpensive and uh, we hope to generate uh, some interest uh, in the storms that are going on in the magnetic field, as well as the uh, other other phenomena that affect uh, the, the, uh, the ionosphere and the magnetic fields of the Earth.